how a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption could affect the entire world. The supervolcano may not be on the list of strange things found in Yellowstone National Park, but the sleeping giant could be cause for concern. It's nature's own doomsday device, a supervolcano with enough explosive potential to make a regular volcano look like a science fair project. A Yellowstone supervolcano eruption wouldn't just ruin vacation plans. It would send shockwaves, literally, around the world, changing landscapes, weather patterns, and possibly the course of human civilization. It would speed up the clock for animals that are likely to go extinct soon, leading to one of the most significant climate impacts of our lifetime. The good news? This geological time bomb hasn't actually gone off. Scientists monitoring the bowels of the Yellowstone volcano consistently report that an eruption is extremely unlikely in anyone's lifetime. Still, exploring the what-ifs offers a fascinating glimpse into the raw power of the Earth. But what impact would it actually have on human. It might be time to take a closer look at what would happen if the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts. Forget the best beach towns on the Gulf Coast after a Yellowstone eruption. Swimsuits will be replaced by parkas around the world. When volcanoes go berserk, they don't just spew lava. They also launch an atmospheric assault. Yellowstone will eject millions of tons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, creating a planet-wide sunscreen that no one ever ordered. This won't be a minor weather disruption like when a small volcano erupts. Skies will be dark for years, dropping global temperatures by an unknown amount. July frosts will become commonplace in North America and Europe. Farmers around the world will watch in horror as growing seasons shrink or disappear altogether. Grocery store shelves will gradually empty as crop failures sweep across continents. 
Scientists at the United States Geological Survey stress that the chances of a catastrophic Yellowstone eruption in the next few thousand years are extremely small. The odds in any given year are estimated at 0.00014%, lower than the odds of a civilization destroying asteroids striking Earth. 